The cut is amazing. Isn't that great? My friend Melissa found this for me in the thrift store. She said there's like two of them side by side, but one was like janky and like kind of taped back together. Oh. She knows me well. You've been acting for a long time, probably since you were a child or? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't like a child actor really. Um, I really liked acting and I told my parents that I wanted to be an actor, um, but my parents wouldn't really let me get into it professionally. So I would just do like theater mm -hmm. <clears throat> and stuff growing up um, locally and did it in high school and then majored in it in, uh, in college. Okay. And uh, yeah. And your, your sister's an actress as well? Yeah, she's actually, she's studying right now to get her, she's getting her master's in uh, education. So I think she's gonna be doing um, a lot of acting, but is also educating. When you started out, was there anyone, um, maybe a co-star or a crew member that was particularly helpful to oh, you yeah. on set? I anyone that For comes sure. to mind, like... Yeah, uh, Rachel Melvin, um, who played Chelsea right. at the time, who was, who was my love interest, still a, a, a very, very good friend of mine. Um, she showed me the ropes over there. Like, I remember just being like, what is going on? Why are there so many lines to learn so quickly? And it was just, I mean, if you haven't done it, it's, it's the most insane schedule I think you can have as an actor, period. Yeah. Um, because, y you know, there's no other situation where you have to be memorizing like 60 pages, before, you know, for the next day and, and, and to have it be, you know, as good as possible. And like, you know, to be honest, on those days where you have 60 pages, I, you know, I think you're a little more robotic and there's less freedom in it. But yeah. there is something about moving at that pace that kind of frees you up in a way. You can't get caught up in uh, being too precious about yeah. anything because you just, you're just there to survive. And sometimes I'll watch it and I'll think, whoa, there's kind of some interesting work going on there because you're, you know, you're just in like survival mode um, and you have to be completely going on instinct. Right. Which is you know, you can, the goal in a yeah. way. Um, but Rachel, uh, I mean, Rachel, I learned a lot from her. Um, she, I could tell right away that um, I was, you know, I was very nervous st being on a soap opera because I had no experience. I never watched soap operas. Yeah. I, it wasn't really part of my vernacular as an actor. And I was really worried about seeming like a soap actor. Um, and so uh, I... I saw, I saw the work that Rachel was doing and I was like, this girl is fucking good. Like I, uh, like she, she has it figured out and, and you know, her, her work ethic was just really strong. And I, and I think that we ended up learning a lot from each other and, um, I just, I loved working with her and she, I, I don't know how I would have done it without her. That's amazing. She's, that's really interesting. She's doing cool things right now too. She's she in is. the new, um, Dumb and Dumber, Dumb and Dumber se yeah. sequel. I can't believe they're doing that. Yeah, no. Which is so cool. Can you tell me who the, your new storyline is with, or is it, um, uh, sure, there's, I mean, anyone um, new thrown into the mix for Nick? I can say that there's some great stuff with Ali Sweeney oh. coming up. Yeah. Oh my God, um, that's exciting. And what else I was wondering about Ali Sweeney, I know she's been directing some episodes. Yeah. Have you, has she directed you in any episodes? Yeah, she has. And what, what, is, <clears throat> what is that like having a co-star direct you? I imagine she's fantastic. She's, so it's just always cool when, I mean, actors, directors are great. Yeah. And, 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 and especially when you're like, you know exactly what I'm going through. So there's this instant empathy that you feel that they have for yeah. you. Um, so that's cool. Um, there is like a bit of an adjustment, you know what I mean? And like, you're like, you're not my peer right now. You're like, not that your director is your boss, but they're like kind of, you know, it's just a different role. They're so, uh, so there was, uh, you know, at first I think like I, I didn't want to, I wanted to make it easy for her cause I knew that it, it was one of her first times doing it. Yeah. And so I wanted it to be easy. So it's like, if you, you're like, Oh, I don't want to do it. Like, but her ideas were great. And, um, and she, I felt like really like supported and like loved, uh, while we did the scene. So it was very cool. That's wonderful. And who, who else in the cast do you think would make a good leader of the ship directing? Man, I think a lot of people would. Yeah. Um, you know who I think is just so cool? Um, 
is uh, Lauren Coslow. Oh my God, I knew you were gonna say Lauren really? Coslow. Yeah, yeah. She's really, she's so cool and so smart. We have, we have a bunch of stuff right now too. Oh man, and, she's uh, amazing. And she's, uh, she's, yeah, she's, she's brilliant. And I love working with her. And um, I think, I think she'd be great at something like that. That's awesome. As far as like writing, directing, <clears throat> you, you, you do write yourself. Um, yeah. Do you have any projects coming up that you've Yeah, you've I do. Written? Yeah. Um, uh, I have a film that I wrote that um, we're kind of assembling a really cool team. Um, we just uh, attached uh, the actor Brad Dourif, um, you know, who's like Academy Award nominated for One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest oh. and um, he's one of the stars of Deadwood and he's in okay. Lord of the Rings. Anyways, brilliant, brilliant actor. He just came on. Uh, to the script that I wrote that I'm going to help produce. And um, our director's in New York. He did this amazing independent film called Forged, which uh, won a bunch of awards. And um, anyway, we're hoping to shoot in uh, New Mexico in April. Um, so that I co-wrote it with a good friend of mine from college. And um, I'm stoked. That's so, that's so awesome. You're a Virgo. Yeah. I'm a Virgo. Oh, cheers. 9-11. Oh my god, edit, just kidding. Um, <laughs> what's your timeline at Days Like I'm not, in Paris? Sh I think I'm not allowed to talk about that. Probably not, huh? Yeah. Um, I can't remember if I'm allowed to or not. Okay. Yet. <laughs> you're not sure. I'm not sure. But you're at least there for a, a little while longer. Yeah. Right? Nick's causing trouble. He's causing trouble. I hope they don't recast. And oh, if you could write Nick out, like, have like an if you could in your fantasy, what would your exit storyline be like for Nick? He would what blow would you his do? Brains out. Yeah, right. He blows brain. He blows brains out. Yeah. I gotta ask you. Oh, this is what I'm really curious about, Blake Barris. What's your favorite Tennessee Williams play? Oh my gosh. Do you do you are you, have you read a lot of Tennessee? Yeah. I do mean, a, do you have a favorite or something uh, that comes to mind? Well, I just saw. Um, the two character play, um, which is a kind of random, unknown, early Tennessee Williams play, um, yeah, uh, with Brad Dourif uh, oh. and Amanda Plummer um, in New York. Uh -huh. uh, I saw it a month ago, and um, it's it's definitely. I mean, I also saw Glass Menagerie while I was there. Oh, um, Glass. Yeah, it's great. Glass, 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 glass. Not that kind of glass, though. Uh, oh, right. Um, no, um, it, it, it's one of the the strangest. I had no idea what was really going on the whole play. Yeah. It's it's really abstract. Um, but those two actors, Amanda Plummer and Brad Dourif, are so genius that like. Um, he and they're both kind of so perfect for Tennessee Williams and cut from like the same kind of like alien cloth. Yeah. That um, it was just one of the like most cool theatrical experiences I've ever had. Um, so I'm gonna go with that one. It's definitely not his most like. Um, uh, uh, it's 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 not a, a masterpiece from a writing standpoint the way some of his other plays sure. are. Sure. But it, it lent itself to a really kind of weird, avant-garde, amazing um, production. That's awesome. Yeah. If you could sum up yourself in one Britney song, what song would it be? Non-single. One Britney, Britney song. Let's see. Um, Did I throw you for a loop? <laughs> um, I think I'll have to go with uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time. Oh, fantastic choice. Take it back to 98. Yeah. Thank you, Blake Barris. You're welcome. What a pleasure. What a pleasure. Thank you for so much Having for coming out this interview morning. Interview at Ventenburger. At Weltenberger here on Vermont. Um, the very hip. The very the hip in Vermont. Oh, and before you skedaddle away, I've got this Better Living book. Wow, yes you do. It's sort of beautiful, these photos. I'm just gonna say, some of the quotes in there didn't really say. I was wondering um, what's up with that. Like, they, there was just maybe some paraphrasing. Though. Oh, this is you screenwriting 
<laughs> in the shower. Yeah, I'm actually doing it. Yeah, right in the picture. See, they're not even lying. <laughs> that is true. Um, Peggy McKay is awesome. I read somewhere that Eileen, she was Eileen Davidson's um, uh, acting coach way back in the day. Oh, I heard that too. Isn't that wild? That is wild. And that then, is wild. Um, Oh. I like how I just sign this while we're talking. I do too, and that's a beautiful signature. So when you're really big time, that's what you do. You're a big time. You talk to people and sign at the same time. Um, talking and signing. Yeah, one time at the in the theaters complex, I was in the elevator, and there's like Russell Simmons, you know that guy? Yeah. And his daughters or whatever, and then fucking Peggy McKay walks in, and I have my Days of Our Lives bag on, and I'm like, holy shit, it's Curly Brady. And then she's like having, she needs help with, um, she's trying to find her car, and it's weird, and the... She was having trouble with the validation. So I was like, oh fuck, here's my chance to help Caroline Brady. Right. And I think- A woman I, in need. Oh my God, I think I made us go up and down the elevator like three times. I was like too like starstruck. We're like walking around the garage. And then I'm like, I'm a big fan of Days of Our Lives. And then she saw my bag. She's like, oh yeah, you must be. You, you are. You and actually I actually have a bag on right I now. I have a bag on right now. So I hope she got home okay that day because she did. She I didn't know up. what She's I was doing. She's been on set recently, so. Oh my god, I love her. She's wonderful. You're awesome, Blake. Yeah. Thank you so much. Totally, this is fun. Thank you for watching Bobby Paradise.